least I fulfilled my mission. For the first time, we're getting a look inside the mind of an alleged killer who makes a shocking admission just seconds after police leave an interrogation room. The newly released video was recorded nearly a year ago on October 6, 2022. Investigators can be seen speaking with 47-year-old Murad Dervish, the former University of Arizona student now accused of murdering 52-year-old professor Thomas Meixner. I read you ran to the car. Do you have any questions on that? No. Do you still understand your rights? Yes. On October 5th, one day before the recording, Police in Tucson, Arizona received a call reporting Dervish on the University of Arizona campus. He'd previously been expelled and wasn't allowed on the property. Eight months prior, Dervish's picture had been emailed to staff, warning them to contact the authorities if he showed up. Officials say Dervish opened fire on campus that day in October, killing Dr. Thomas Meixner of the Department of Hydrology and Atmospheric Sciences. Another person was also injured by bullet fragments. Investigators say Dervish used a 9mm handgun to kill Meixner, who was shot four times. First responders finally caught up with Dervish about 100 miles away from campus. They say he was attempting to flee to Mexico. Hours later, he spoke with police. So you lived in California, in Arizona? You lived anywhere else? Uh, in my whole life. Yeah. Uh, I lived in Pennsylvania for a while. Overseas ever? No. Uh, California, Pennsylvania, Arizona. Okay. That's it, yeah. The conversation started out normally as Dervish detailed his living history and background, mostly small talking with officers. What did you do to San Diego? Uh, my mother was staying there. Yeah, okay. I went to live there for. She's still there? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I enjoyed San Diego. It's a nice town. I spent uh, quite a bit of time there. My favorite place was a place in town called Croce's. It's a little uh, bar run by Angry Croce, the, um, I don't know if you know Jim Croce, musician from the 70s. No. Kind of more my age. I'm not sure if I get yeah. here. Yeah, I, uh, I don't think I ever saw that place. Okay. Soon, the conversation steers to Dervish's educational background and graduate studies at the university. So, are you a grad student here, or...? I was. Okay, because yeah. I see you have a cap card. Right, yeah, I was a grad student. Prior to his arrest, Dervish was expelled for threatening behavior. But when it came time to answer detectives' questions, he remained tight-lipped. It's actually, you know, like, beyond the charges, I really don't want to answer any more questions. I don't think I should really answer any more questions, you know, with, without a Okay, well, you're free to answer whatever questions you want. Yeah. If you choose not to answer a question, that's completely within your rights. Mm-hmm. Um, so if I read you a question you don't want to answer, just say I don't want to answer it. Yeah. Does that work for you? Well, I think I'd rather, you know, just talk to a lawyer, you know, first before. Okay. I, I mean, I would just like to know the charges and then... Okay. Um, get a lawyer. Wait for the lawyer. Eventually, Dervish asks what he's charged with. Well, I'm happy to answer your question. Do you have questions for me? To tell me just what the charges are. Okay. Uh, so right now, um, there's a gentleman, uh, Tim Corley, who was injured today. I don't know if you know Tim. Um, Tim was hit by a, a stray bullet. Uh, so that's, at a minimum, we're looking at aggravated assault for Tim. Um, so that's one of the charges I'm looking at. Okay. That's the only charge? No, there are others I'm considering. Such as? If you don't want to talk to me without a lawyer, that's fine. Uh, we can wrap this up pretty quick. Uh, we have quite a bit of evidence. Uh, and I think you know what that evidence is, but I'm not going to press you for any question. I'm press you on that. When Dervish says he won't speak without an attorney, detectives push back. 
Dervish then seemingly taunts the officers, saying his story will eventually come out in court. Um, truly unfortunate because I would really like to hear your story. I was an undergrad here a long time ago, and I was I got treated really poorly by the staff here. Yeah. Um, I mean, you'll be able to, yeah. Well, I mean, you'll hear my story in court. Yeah, if you're there. But when asked to clarify, Dervish again says he won't speak without an attorney. If you feel it's important for you to tell it to us now, um, yeah, because a lot of people will say, well, your story changed based on what the officer said. Had you told him at the outset yeah. what the story, now you're just changing your story, your version of events to fit the evidence. Right. I'll just let a lawyer advise me. Okay. So you don't want to answer any of my questions about a lawyer? It's then that Dervish is told he's being charged with first-degree murder. He responds with only one word. Okay. Uh, I am charging you with murder in the first degree. Okay. You look surprised. You tell me of whom? Okay, you said you don't want to answer my questions. Anyone have to answer my questions, I guess. Detectives then explain what's next for Dervish. Okay. I would really like to hear what you have to say today. Uh, we found a gun in your car. I'm sure you would like to hear it. Uh, we found a gun in your car. Uh, from this order of protection. It looks like you're prohibited from possessing any firearms. Let me see, for Brianna Moreno. They served March of last year. Okay. Uh, your car has been taken to impound. We're going to hold on to it there for a while. Uh, we've searched your home, your car, uh, and there's things that uh, before we leave tonight that I need to search you for. Uh, specifically, we're going to take buckle swabs and we're going to take your clothing as evidence. Buckle swabs? Yes, it's a DNA swab that we take from inside your cheek. It's, oh. You rub a, um, yeah, a Q-tip. Yeah, I've had that done before. you had that done before? Oh. Okay. Uh, we're swabbing your hands as well. Swabbing my hands? Yeah, I assume you do that, yeah. You figured we'd do that? Yeah. It's kind of hard to hear you. Kind of. Yeah, I figured that. Yeah, I've heard people do that. Mm -hmm. <coughs> well, it's a shame we can't talk. We seem like we have a lot in common. Going to U of A and living in San Diego. Unfortunately, I can't speak with you. That letter. You are free to. Those are your right. You, you, you are free to speak with me. I am. I guess I know. Uh, but because because you are under arrest um, and you're being questioned, then yes, you have the right to an attorney to be present during questioning. Right. He again taunts the officers, saying if it wasn't so early in the morning, he may have spoken with them. Maybe if you had waited until 4 o'clock in the morning, maybe I would have talked to you. I would well, have more if, yeah, <laughs> and I understand you're tired <laughs> because we we're tired too. We, we started our day early. Yeah, I started um, my day early. So. Um, had we met up earlier in the day instead of way out by Ajo, yeah. we probably would have gotten yeah, started earlier. Yeah. I'm not sure it's quite 4 o'clock, but we're coming on. It's 2.30. It's, it's getting kind yeah. of Yeah, maybe we could have a lawyer here. We could have. Although I don't think the public defender works that fast, though. So. <laughs> we think probably would have had to wait anyway. So. After that, officers exit the interview room, leaving Dervish alone. Thank you, Mr. Dervish. You're going to be here for a while while we uh, work on some paperwork. Okay. Just to hear. Uh, we're going to have to move you back into the other room. Yeah. Just a second. Dervish can then be heard whispering to himself, commenting on past pieces of conversation with the officers. <laughs> While still alone, Dervish makes a shocking statement saying he fulfilled his mission. <laughs> I 
least I fulfilled my mission. The video ends about one minute later. I'm going to remove this cuff, just put it behind your back. Put your hand behind your back. Thank you very much. So can you turn around, please? Just a little. Thank you very much. Sideways. Dervish is being held without bond and is due back in court next Tuesday for a status hearing. Right now, a jury trial is scheduled to begin in May of next year. Reporting for Law & Crime Network, I'm Sierra Gillespie.